Okay, welcome back to the Sun Journal of Editorials. It is uh, August 7th. I'm Tony Ronzio, I'm the editorial page editor for the Sun Journal, and we're going to talk today about the editorial that's coming up from Monday, August 10th. I'm actually in the process of writing it right now. Um, it's all about lobster wars, and I'm writing about it because I'm a survivor of a lobster war. I um, used to be a reporter in the Rockland area for a while. I covered the last Matinicus lobster war. It involved the same things that most lobster wars are based on, and I think the one that's going on right now is pretty much the same way. It's not based on economic conditions or boat prices or bait prices or fuel prices. It, it's based on the things that are historically the ones that uh, raise the danders out there when it comes to fishing. Territorial issues, family disputes, boundary disputes, and certain other things that, you know, really only known to the lobstermen that caused them to uh, sink boats, cut traps, and, and what happened on Matinicus a couple of weeks ago, even somebody getting shot. Uh, the thing is, all this bad behavior, since it's not related to the economic conditions, really gives lobster and remain a bad name because of all the good work that's happened in this fishery over the past 20 years. It is a, is a self-regulated industry. I mean, all the stuff that happens with the fighting and the shooting and the cutting traps is aberrant behavior in a system that it actually is pretty effective. These lobstermen defend their own territory, they take care of their own fishery, they keep it sustainable, and they work together not always perfectly, but they work together to make sure that it's ready for the next generation. The state has got a very good system of uh, regulate the lobster industry. The zone councils work, it's representative, it's democratic, the state mediates, the state monitors, and everybody comes together on the common theme of making sure that fishery is sustainable. And look at the fisheries around New England today. Every other single one has collapsed. Urchins were huge, they went down. Ground fishing is in the is, is in really rough shape. Lobstering, through its traditions, through its sort of uh, history of self-regulation, through the state's efforts, have been, has, is an amazing success story for a natural resource. So forget all the shootings, forget the trap cuttings, forget all the boat sinkings, and all the, that's crap. The real story of Maine lobstering is how successful it is. And when that boat price comes back up, and when people start making money, and when fuel levels out, um, you know, that's the, really the story that should be told. So that's the editorial of August 10th. I'm Tony Ronzio. You want to find us online, I'll tell you where we can find us. Sunjournal.com, uh, Facebook.com slash Sunjournal, Twitter.com slash Sunjournal, YouTube.com slash Sunjournal. And if you want to reach me, please email editorialboard at Sunjournal.com. And uh, have a nice weekend. We'll see you next week.